Here's a shortened, condensed version of sudden death syndrome. So a lot of times you'll start to see yellowing out in the field. Go out and investigate. You'll start to see a lot of this yellowing looks like it's between the veins, but eh, it's a lighter color green. Not really sure what's going on. It could be a lot of different things. Go out later, you'll start to see it moving a little bit more. Start to see some yellowing in between the veins. Um, it's still sticking between the veins. The veins are dark green. Maybe a little bit of brown is showing up. It will continue to progress until you see the whole leaf look like this. The yellowing between the veins will turn to brown and start dying. The veins are still very pronounced, dark green. Eventually, the leaves will die completely like this. The leaves will fall off the petiole. The petioles will stay attached to the bean plant like they are here, almost like a skeleton. Um, so just to summarize everything we saw in the field well ago, sudden death syndrome infects the plant early on whenever growth has been delayed and it's cool and wet. We don't start to see it until later in the reproductive growth stages when it's warm and wet because all of the late rainfalls help push the toxins the fungus produces in the roots up through the plant for us to visually see symptoms. So first thing we will notice is the yellowing in the field and then start to see this intervenal porosis. So it's the leaf tissue is dying between the veins. Then we'll start to see that the stems are dying and turning brown. And if we split the stems, we will also start to see discoloration and death. So here's a healthy soybean plant that I split open to show you the inside of that stem. The pith is white and healthy. It's still freely moving nutrients and water up the plant to continue driving yield. But as we look at these plants that have the visual leaf symptoms, look at the inside of those stems. Granted, we can see the stem itself is completely dead, but as we split the stem and look at it, it's brown, it's gray, it's discolored. We can tell it's dried out. Um, the tissue right here in the middle of the pith has dried up as well and it started to crack. And then we can see on the outside of the roots, there's actually the blue fungus growing on the roots as well. That's a, a very typical sudden death syndrome identifier as well. So when you start to see something going on in the field or discoloring late in the season, make sure you go out and investigate and look for those telltale signs of sudden death syndrome.